Hey guys, today we're going to look at what a cheater recall is and how you can use it consistently in solo queue. Basically, a cheater recall, you can do it on most champions, on all lanes, and all you have to do is prevent your opponent from attacking your wave. So we're going to go into this. This is a replay from LS and Sanchovis in a coaching session. So obviously what you see here is the start of the minion wave, and Sanchovis is being instructed by LS to last hit a little bit, but make sure that Skana doesn't get any attacks off or as little attacks as possible. Now, when you're doing this, the idea is to get the second wave to crash, and then you use the cannon wave to get your cheater recall. So you'll see here, Sanchovi's just playing a little safe, he's waiting for the freeze, and then you'll see all of a sudden, he gets instructed to push. So now, as soon as his second wave crashes, he now starts pushing super hard. So the cheater recall just while he's pushing is basically used to get a really nice first back without having to use your teleport or any summoners. And the idea is you can take a, you can take damage, you can take unfavorable trades because your ideal objective here is to get the wave to crash onto their turret on the cannon wave. So this wave here, you see how Sanchovis is now pretty much suicide pushing. Obviously here, Skarna is giving him room but you can pretty much do this on any champion as long as you have a decent amount of aggression and you don't feed. So as you can see, Sanchovi's now recalls, Skana's wave is crashing, and you'll soon see the CS difference. He gets a 480 gold item spike. He now gets to buy Doran's or Cull, whichever, and now he gets to walk back to lane without losing anything. He's equal in CS, a little bit behind probably now because the second wave crashes as well. But he is now ahead in CS and gets a nice little recall and a perfect power spike. And this is what a cheater recall is. You can pretty much do this on any champion. You can do it in any lane. Um, bot lane, it's harder to do in. But mid lane, you can definitely do this if you want to, say, get a double Dorans. Or you start Dark Seal refillable and you want to rush a Corrupting or get another Dorans. You can do this pretty much in any solo lane. Bot lane's harder. And yeah, that's basically what a cheater recall is. You can see now Sanchovis is back in lane and has th this whole wave to push. To quickly recap the cheater recall, it's best used if you want an early back. How to do it. One, damage the enemy caster minions, but don't kill them on the first wave. Prevent the enemy from killing your casters, as we saw in the example. Two, once your second wave arrives, Finish off the enemy casters and then try consistently prevent the enemy from touching any of your ally minions. And then third, on that cannon wave you then start pushing as fast as you can with the power of your minions and your abilities to make sure the wave is going to go under the tower and recall. That step three is the hardest part because you pretty much got to push as hard as you can otherwise it's not going to crash the way you want it to. Now. What the enemy does doesn't really matter as long as they can't kill you. So you could finish this cheater recall on 20% health. You could finish it on 30% health. The jungle is not going to come 99 times out of 100. It's just going to be you and the laner. So it's super easy to do. You don't have to worry about taking unfavorable trades because your main objective is just to get the wave crashing, not to actually trade tit for tat against your opponent.